All right, so Skyler had to leave for the station before we did our intro and our outro. All right, so this is kind of weird. I don't know if you know about um, Brad and Haley Divine, but they are local YouTubers here in Utah. And every year, Haley's dad hangs a flag in Little Willow Canyon. So we went to go and check it out. I had been following that hashtag for a very long time trying to figure out where the flag was and how to find it and finally we just had to go exploring. Alrighty, we are on our way to Little Willow Canyon to see a really, really big flag. I can see it! The... There it is! There it is! Oh my gosh, I'm shaking like crazy. So we're gonna go for a hike and go get closer to it. I've been looking for where this flag is for like a month so that we can come and see it. Yes, so she really, really wants to go do this. <laughs> it is quite big. Apparently it's a pretty short hike. I have so. about a mile, I think about an hour, 500 foot incline. That's what Google said, so if Google can be trusted, I guess that's what we're going to go with. You can see it, right there. It looks a lot further away. Oh. Alright, we don't have any idea where we're going, but this is Hidden Valley Park. We found this well, it looks kind of like a dead trail, hole. and the flag is up here through these trees. Straight that way. So we're going to try to walk on this. Maybe this is the trail, maybe this is somebody's backyard. And if we find it, then we'll let you know how to get to it. Because this is silly. Okay, so this isn't it. We haven't found the trailhead yet, but... But there's the flag. There's the flag, that's where we want to go. So we're going to stop here and take pictures just in case we can't find the trailhead. Alright, this is looking way more promising. Yes, it looks like it could be the trail. It's got paved paths and everything. So there's the park that we were supposed to go to. Google doesn't have the right uh, address for that park. It took us to this little dinky thing with picnic tables. But the paths come from there. And we'll see if this, this is the right way. way. We're just gonna try to update Google and tell her that this shit's stupid. Yes, well, that sign says trail right there. It doesn't tell us what trail, but... But we're thinking it's the right one. There's a trail that goes off that way, too. But we're gonna follow this one instead. Alright, so I think we found the right trail, because we're getting closer. You didn't put any sunscreen on your forehead. Oh, I didn't! Here. It's because I have a big head. Alright, we've come to the end of the trail. And there is a trail going down into the right. And then there's two trails going up to the left. We already went and checked out the one to the right, and that's the a, wrong place. Goes to a bridge over the water. So we're gonna try probably this one next because we saw people going up there. Right? Yep. Okay, so this keeps going in the wrong direction. So I guess We'll go back to the right. And try on the other side of the river. And if that's not it, I guess we'll just call it good. It's not very good directions out there in the world. No, you'd think that you would want the flag found, you know? All right, so we think we found the right place this time. Yes, so we didn't go all the way back. Basically, when you get down to the end of the trail where it says watershed, it's the last one on the left. We went up that one and there's a little trail that just kind of juts off. You don't even know it. You hardly can tell, but it just looks like a trail. And like a little trail, like somebody walked on it. Yeah. And then it just basically goes straight up the mountain. <laughs> yeah. huh. We're and almost so, there. There it is, clear up there. We're taking a break because eight months pregnant. Yeah, so it's okay, don't judge me. But you guys should take a look at this view. Wowzers on my trousers. You can see my little red car clear down there. Check out that view. Looks like a farmer. 
All right, so look at how close we are. It's right over there. It looks closer than I think it actually is. We're taking it slow. I'm not trying to make Caprice go into labor. Yeah, that would not be good. Not quite turned yet. We made it! We made it! All the way up the mountain to the flag. Yep. This is what I wanted. Yep. She's only stressed me out a couple times. Skylar's been very patient and very helpful. She's freaking me out. I'm literally shaking right now because I'm nervous for her. But here's the view from the top. You can see clear down there, focus. that little tennis court right down there. That's where we initially were trying to find the trail to come up. And then there's my car again. We actually think that the trail starts down there. Maybe over by that park. Because we got on the trail down at the end of that cul-de-sac right there. So, you're not supposed to park there. Yeah, there's no parking there. That's why you parked outside of the cul-de-sac in the street. But we made it. Isn't it cool? So worth it. As long as we don't die getting down the mountain. It's going to take a long time. It's okay. Okay, so that really is the Hidden Valley Park. Apparently there are two. And it is the bigger one further... Towards the mountain. East. Yes, east. And then there's a trail that takes you up over to the other trail. It's not clearly marked, so... No, but it is paved. On Google, it says that that hike is for novices. Um, I'm pretty sure they're talking specifically about that hike just around the park because that was that would be super easy. Yes. The one that we went on was not easy. No. We, like I said before, you go up towards the watershed and when you get to the end, there's one last trail on the left. That's the one you take. And then it's just like a little bit further up that trail. There's a fork and it branches off and goes right up the mountain on the right side of the trail. So that's the one that we took and it just basically takes you straight up the mountain. Yes. So, and that's how you get up to the very top. Just follow that trail. So hopefully that's enough information because we went on like three trails and we parked three times or something. Yeah, we explored all over the place. We were not planning on being out all day, but we basically were. Yes, we've been at least, so it's like four, four hours. hours. <laughs> the hike itself probably would have taken, what If we knew where we were going, it'd probably take us like an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, so there you go. We had lots of fun going on that hike. Luckily, Caprice didn't fall because she was struggling. Probably more difficult than what we were bargaining for. It was really pretty. I'm posting some pictures on my Instagram account and... We both forgot sunscreen, so we got some pretty gnarly sunburns. Skylar was really nice and let me wear his hat for part of it, and somehow neither of us really got sunburned on our faces. It's pretty, pretty flag. It's amazing that we live in such a wonderful country. Yeah, we, me and Caprice were talking and we decided, we said that probably out of all the flags, it, ours is a really good looking flag. So hopefully this video was helpful and we'd love to hear about your experience if you want to comment below. So she's going to say, And if you like videos like this, like this video to see more like this. And then I'll say, subscribe, because we need kept up with, which will say. And comment so that we can keep up with you. And then we'll do our little high five. So hopefully my high five reaches from clear down here all the way up to there, 50 miles away. Hmm.